Good morning, everyone. Today we are trying to cut down this maple tree again. This is our second attempt on the maple tree. Today we have rented a towable 45 foot man lift. And uh, you'll be surprised, 45 feet won't go as high as you think it will. We'll be, we'll be able to get fairly high up and, and hopefully get this, start cutting this thing down. But the bad thing about a towable man lift is one, you need to make sure it's not anywhere that's gonna have something fall on it. But the, the other thing is you need to get it positioned where that you can try to reach as much stuff as possible um, where you don't have to keep hitching up to it and tow it around and, and park it somewhere else. So uh, hopefully I've got it in a position today where I can reach the majority of the tree and get it cut down. If not, maybe get the whole tree cut down. Um, so uh, you go get the chainsaws and uh, get those gassed up and uh, we're gonna go ahead and start at the very top or as high as we can reach with the man lift and we're gonna start cutting this tree down. So on this man lift, it's a two button control. You have to push down on one of these speed buttons and then one of the buttons of whatever actuator you want to use. And then that's pretty much it. So just need both hands to be able to operate it. Maybe I should have started the chainsaw before I came up here. That <laughs> sure shakes the basket. So there's three big limbs in this tree and I've cut the top part out of the first one. Now I need to get a bigger chainsaw so I can cut the rest of this limb down. Uh, after that one, I'll probably move on to the one on the backside. You really can't see it from this position, but uh, the one on the backside and try to see if I can cut that one down. After I've been up in the air, I can tell that this limb that's in the center of the tree, uh, there's too much of it hanging this way and I really need to reposition the lift before I cut that one down because I'm pretty sure I'd hit the lift with the limb. So uh, let me grab a big chainsaw, we'll get back up there.
So I've only got one limb left in the tree. It's the center limb and it's forked. And uh, the, the two limbs are going in opposite directions. So one wants to come over here toward the corner of the man lift and the other one wants to go that direction. So we're gonna move the man lift so we don't get it, so we don't accidentally hit it with a limb. And we'll try to go perpendicular to the way those wanna uh, fall. So we're gonna end up putting the man lift like right over here. So we're gonna have to clean up these limbs. We're gonna get them cut up, clean up enough of this where I can back the trailer in this location. And um, I don't know if you caught it, when, we was, when I was cutting that last limb at the very top, um, that was as far as I could go with the man lift from the position that it's parked and I couldn't get it any higher up that limb. So when I cut it, the limb was still long enough that it actually swung out and it caught the tree beside it. And my chainsaw just kind of just pinched there at the end or I let off, you know, the chainsaw and it got, and it, and it got caught. And there's a little bit of material on my end that was holding it and then it was caught in that tree. So I had to get the chainsaw free and then I was just able to cut that, just a little bit of material leaving it there hanging. I was able to cut that off and then it, it fell free. But um, you know, that's one of those things, you're, that's why you're trying to cut as high as possible. So there's less limb to swing out and catch something. And uh, that's what ended up happening. Luckily nothing bad happened, it, it, everything was fine. But let's go ahead, we'll get this cleaned up and uh, see if we can reposition everything, cut this last limb down.
Well, I don't know if there's much more I can do from this man lift. I could try to take these down a little bit. Thing's still 10 foot tall. While I'm here, let's just go ahead and clean this up a little bit. Tell you what, this man lift basket's not very big. It's even, it's almost hard, uh, almost impossible to start the saw. Oh, I ran out of gas. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, at least I finished before I ran out of gas. <laughs> Determination. Usually gets me in trouble. Well, we got the tree all cut down and on the ground. Um, it's still probably 10 feet tall, but uh, uh, the majority of the tree's down. Everything I needed to use the lift for, yeah, I think I'm, I'm done with it. I'm good. The rest I can handle from the ground. So, uh, you know, this, this was a pretty neat job to do today. I, I really enjoyed it, um, and it went fairly quick. It's actually just at lunchtime today. I've got, I went and picked it up first thing this morning, and I'm already done by lunch, so it went fairly quickly. And um, yeah, it was a little something different to do here, and uh, I, uh, I actually kind of enjoyed it. I, I, I like working out of a man lift. That may sound odd, but I, I do enjoy uh, using them and working out of them. It's just, I don't know, I'm weird, I guess. But uh, that last limb I tried to do today, that, that last one, after I cut the fork out of it, it was like straight up and down. And it really didn't want to lean one way or the other and fall a certain direction. So I was trying to cut it so I could get it to fall away from the man lift of course but the first one I notched way too big and I notched it like to the middle and then cut it so then it was balancing on the hinge it really didn't want to go one way or the other so the next one down I ended up notched it I notched it way too small and I really couldn't get it to to go over I mean it seemed like I wasn't getting anything right on that last limb but uh, finally got it cut all the way down to the bottom and uh the worst part about the whole thing, I mean, the basket is small. It's funny, that basket's like that small. It's almost the length of my chainsaw. That big, my, my chainsaw with a 25 inch bar. I mean, there was barely enough room to set that up and down in there, um, let alone try to start it in the basket and swing it around. But the worst part about it was that it, that chainsaw's heavy and, and I'm working like up and straight out with my arms and it, <laughs> By that last limb, man, I'll tell you, my, my arms and shoulders, I was, uh, my arms were wearing out trying to carry that heavy saw. Um, so, uh, you know, I would rather use a lighter saw up there, but the problem is by the time you make your first two cuts, you're down to one of these limbs that some of them ended up, one of those bigger ones there is probably an 18 inch, 20 inch diameter. I mean, they get big pretty quick going down, so you need that bigger saw. So one thing that was cool, I will say one thing that was cool up there, um, when I would cut those top limbs out, they were real rotten and you would see them fall to the ground. And when they hit the ground, they would just like explode into a million pieces. And I really didn't get that on camera. I wish I would have had a camera like pointing down to catch some of those limbs just hit the ground and shatter because uh, the top of this thing was very rotten. Um, but the more I worked down it, um, we got into some fairly good wood and fairly solid wood. Uh, so a lot of this wood is complete junk, of course. Now, some of it will make good campfire wood, and then some of it's actually fairly solid, and we'll be able to split that up. But um, I'm going to make sure to use as much as I can. Uh, even if I can only use it as campfire wood, it'll at least get used. So uh, the only thing I need to do now um, is uh, I need to put the man lift, get it pulled out of here. I need to clean this up enough so I can give this back to the goats. I'm going to have to get their electric netting stretched. This is the goat pasture, our billy goat pasture, and I need to get the electric netting back up so that the goats can get back here out here. So I'm going to have to get that all cleaned up. And um, we'll come back in another video and we'll attack this big tree stump back here. It is huge. It is probably four feet wide at the base, but it just gets bigger as it goes up. So it may get up to like six feet wide as it, as it stretches out there. And my chainsaw's only got a 25 inch bar. Luckily, the other direction, it's only 
two, three feet wide, you know, three, maybe three feet wide the other direction. So hopefully I can use that 25 inch bar and cut through it a narrow way and I can get that thing down. And I'll end up leaving probably three or four feet of that stump and I'll leave it for the billy goats to be able to climb up on, give them something to, to uh, they like to climb things, goats do, so I'll give them something to climb. May even cut a couple steps in it for the goats to be able to get up there. Um, but uh, yeah, that'll be something coming up in another video. We'll, we'll get that all tackled and cut down. And I've got a lot of wood here to clean up too and split, so some of that may be in another video as well. But anyway, I better get to getting, I better get to getting all this stuff cleaned up and, uh, and straightened up enough I can at least put this back in order and I have the man lift only rented for a day, so I'm just going to go ahead and take it back tonight. It's about lunchtime right now, so I'll probably, uh, you know, get this cleaned up, catch some lunch, take the, take the man lift back. I think I'm done with it.